What is up, travelers? I am Fly Girl TW, your travel guide for anywhere but here. You have safely landed at 24/7 the continents. This is where we're count. This is where we count down the seven continents based on size, and I provide you with a little bit of background about each continent so you can expand your knowledge around geography. So. We are getting close to the top, guys. We are now at number two, the continent of Africa. So right after the break, we'll get some information. I'll give you a little bit more information that you probably didn't know. Continent about Africa. See you right back. back to 24 7 the continents i am once again fly girl tw your travel guide and this week we are in africa let me tell you a little bit more about it not only is it the second largest continent it is the second most populated continent as well africa covers about six percent of the earth's total mass and it is a whopping 12 million miles long, guys. Whew. And the population is estimated to be over 1 billion. That is a B, as in boy, not an M, as in Mary. Over 1 billion in populace. The population also takes up 15% of the Earth's population. Huge numbers. Now, what's interesting about Africa is that it has... As large it is, as it is, it has the youngest population. Let me explain to you what that means. Of the other continents that we have, excluding Antarctica, because there's not really um, a population, so to speak, on Antarctica. So on the other ones that we've covered, Africa has the youngest. So let's say in the United States, the average age of the American is 45 years old. Well, in Africa, the average age is 19. Now, we could debate back and forth on why that would be the case. You know, Africa, the continent of Africa has some struggles um, that we don't, um, being able to manage births. We have more opportunity for birth control and different options and things like that, that unfortunately certain parts of Africa are still impoverished and, and lack a lot of the things that we have in these other continents. So their average age is 19. That's young. But it also means there's lots of opportunity um, to get those young people to feel good and empowered and to make a difference. But it may take a little bit of our help. Okay, guys? There is a debate going on um, in Africa or about Africa, and that is the number of languages that are spoken in this continent. Now, some say that it's about 1,000 languages, while others debate that the number could be as high as 2,000. Either way, guys, when you think about the diversity in language, 1,000, 2,000, it doesn't really matter. This is a place where you could go and truly learn languages like you wouldn't be able to in any other continent on earth. Now, I will say that if you've never been to Africa, um, you may be surprised to know that it it is more than safaris, okay? It is more than the place where Nelson Mandela um, was born and had so much struggle yet triumph at the same time. It is a place, a continent full of culture, art, art, architecture. 
music, dance. A lot of the dances originate from Africa. And I know that a lot of the younger generations don't realize that. They think that some kid who came out with the new rap song originated this particular dance, but most dances originated out of the original African roots. Let's not forget the food. Africa is known for its amazing dishes. And a lot of dish dishes that they had to just create centuries ago simply because they were hungry. And here we are enjoying them today as though they're delicacies. Interesting, right? Did you know that 54 countries in Africa have football leagues? They do. If you didn't know, now you do. They also celebrate, from a sports perspective, rugby, rugby and cricket. So, some things that we don't necessarily do that much here in the United States. Rugby is becoming popular, but yeah, Africa is big on sports as well. Okay. The last thing that I want to share with you about this amazing continent that is our second largest continent, over 1 billion in popular, is the... Um, is the religious factor. Now in Africa, they celebrate Christianity, uh, Islam, Muslim, Hindu, and Buddhism. So that is the second top, is the second largest continent, guys, the continent of Africa. If you've never been, look into it, go. There's so many different countries that you can visit, so many things you can learn about, if not your history, someone else's history. And you are sure to come back home with a renewed appreciation for the continent of Africa. Thanks so much for joining me here at Anywhere But Here. This series is 24-7. I'm Fly Girl TW, your travel guide. And I will see you next week, our very last episode for 24-7 The Continents. I'm Asia, and I am so excited. I have lots of different things I want to share with you about Asia and the diversity that it is so thanks again for joining me i will see you next week travel well and fly high take care guys